Hey, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get a clean key with your green screen footage. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course in Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Okay, hopefully you've got about 30 seconds worth of clips on the timeline, some music down. So we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with green screen. So if we go into our project panel, we should have a folder here with our green screen stuff in it. And we want the welcome, GS welcome. So double click on that, bring it up in your source monitor. This is my daughter, Jewel. And let's go to the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Welcome to Dirtfish Rally School. Okay, so we just want that really quick little intro. So I'm gonna set the end point. and set the endpoint. And we want to drag this down with the audio because obviously she says something. We're going to drag and drop it right here at the beginning. And you could see that she's over the top of the race car. And I actually want her green screened, obviously. We want to get rid of all the green here. So this is how you do it. First of all, I'm in the simple editing workspace. Let's go to the effects control. The first thing to do is add the effect. We call it ultra key. Now instead of trying to dig through here, we're going to click on the search and type in ultra. And there we go. There's the ultra key and I'm going to drag and drop it right here on the clip that I want to do my green screen work with. Nothing exciting happened, but I can tell I did apply something because it now has a purple FX badge. And if I come over here to the effect controls, scroll down motion and opacity, there's the ultra key. You can also just scrub down it. All right, so here's ultra key and we're gonna be playing around with these settings. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna select the color here. So if you grab the color eyedropper, click there, and then you come out here and click, you can see it selected the color. You can also, if you knew exactly what color number that was, you can click on the little color box and type in a number. So if you come right in here, let's say I know it was, I don't know, let's just make something up. Four, four, eight, five, six, eight, nine. Oh, some blue color. You can hit okay and it would work. Now, obviously I was just making that color up. So let's grab the eyedropper and come out here. But you should know that you can come in here and type in a number or you can use the eyedropper. Now that's pretty good. And if you scrub through it, you're like, Excellent. I'm done, but you're not. <laughs> first of all, first of all, if you go to settings here, we have default, relaxed, aggressive, and custom. If I go to relaxed, hmm, that's not bad. If I go to aggressive, okay, it's really kind of hard to tell what's happening here between the default, aggressive, and relaxed. If we go to output though, and instead of looking at the composite, which is both layers together go to the alpha channel and you can see here in this light gray area here and the light gray area there that's not a clean key so uh, the persons we're doing a good job of selecting the person but the background not so much so if we go to relaxed that's even worse if we go to aggressive wow we nailed it so you could definitely see how much better aggressive is just don't forget to go back to composite okay so i'm going to go back to alpha and um, just let's let's try doing this manually so i'm going to go back to settings and default and if we open up this matte generation the thing i like to show people is the pedestal that's the kind of the key that i use when i'm i'm working with a green screen so i'm going to go ahead and just scrub this pedestal to the right and you'll see it just kind of that gray goes away just don't go so far that the person starts to become semi-transparent, that's when you have some trouble. So if you had issues with highlights, you can come in here and adjust those. Shadows, you can adjust those. And I think those are pretty self-explanatory, highlights and shadows. Um, let me go ahead and twirl matte generation down. And you notice that I did it myself. So this is kind of a controlled one, which cha automatically changed this to custom. And then matte cleanup, this is a good one. Choke, basically just takes this and brings it in. If you have a green halo around the person, do I have a green halo? That's a good question. So let me go back to composite. And this is when you actually might want to zoom in. So let's say I'm going to go to 150%. And then is there a green halo around there? There might be a little bit of one. So if I start choking this, can you see how I'm taking off 
part of her shoulder there. So that will help you if you ever have a green halo. You can soften that as you choke it, you can soften it. Spill suppression has to do with like color bouncing off the background and hitting the character. Uh, try to have the person at least eight to 10 feet away from the background and you'll get a better, you won't have as much spill. So those are the basics. Uh, you, you know, now I can go to aggressive, I can make it my, my own and we've got a really, really clean key. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.